Hey, good morning, you guys. Um, survived the winter storm. My God, that was crazy. Um, it's kind of weird when you're in, when you're in the middle of it. it. Didn't I didn't really realize how serious it was uh, until people started having you know a lot of water. They were losing water, um, not just being freezing cold, but also having like water breaks and water lines and things like that. That's kind of scary. Um, we were very fortunate, my family. We didn't actually, uh, it's kind of funny, but uh, my daughter was complaining yesterday. I mean, it was got up to almost 60 degrees yesterday. And my daughter was in the house and she was complaining, Dad, it's cold in here. And I said, well, turn the heat up. And um, because we've had a fire going in the wood stove for the last two weeks and the fire from the wood stove so warming, you know, you can go in that room and just stand by the fire and, and warm up immediately. You kind of you kind of get spoiled. So we actually we got spoiled by this by the storm because um, you know we had the wood and we had the wood stove and um, you can see my wood pile. I'm gonna have to restock. I used all that wood that was in that pile. Uh, blessed. It was just a blessing, but I was prepared. And I'm you know this is you know I, I was saying to somebody at work you know chance chance or saying this to my girls, but you know chance um supports the the prepared you know and um i mean your chances of success are higher if you're prepared that's like that's statistically proven and i think we can apply that to our spiritual life you know we're we're preparing we're 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 laying a found foundation we're giving ourselves the um you know this um flexibility to be able to uh swing both both directions to be able to go into the relative and then be able to come back out of the relative. You know, Maharishi called it 100% of the inner and 100% of the outer. Sahaj Marg calls it, you know, the two wings of a bird. You know, you have the you have the the physical wing, the 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 part that's keeping you, you know, clothed and fed and a roof over your head and um and money in the bank, and then you have the spiritual wing, and they both have to be. You, know, you have to have a balance between the two if you want success and this is a perfect example of that um, our society has become too materially based and people are very materialistic and we're gonna we're gonna have a you know we're gonna suffer consequences for that I think we're seeing that you know we're, we're seeing that with the um, situation we have going on but I was gonna mention something I, I had a experience um, uh, I was telling you guys it was Lalaji's birthday uh, celebration. It was around the 14th of February, 15th, 16th. And I did a meditation one morning and a thought came into my mind and I attribute it to Lalaji. I think Lalaji gave me this thought. And um, the thought was, think of your, think of your thoughts as arrows each one has a tremendous amount of power and you know, it's kind of an interesting, interesting, um, analogy, uh, to think of your thoughts as having the power of that, you know, high powered arrow. Uh, and it gives you a different perspective on it. You know, it's really about taking a lot of responsibility for that. You know, if you have a loaded weapon or if you've ever really, um, Anybody who's ever really used a weapon, I mean, I'm talking about a weapon of war, like, you know, a, um, an M16 or, you know, a high powered rifle or high powered gun or or even shot like a really, you know, uh, a compound bow. I mean, those things are those things are killing instruments. They're not made for, you know, uh, target practicing. They're made for killing, like killing animals, killing people. And um, they're they're. Um, amazingly powerful and um, I remember when I was in the Air Force we we didn't shoot a lot you know the Air Force doesn't do a lot of shooting and stuff but we went out to the range and um, we re had to like requalify with the M16 and and I just remember being out there and you got 20 people all shooting you know at the same time and it was just the loudness and the power of it and those are just M16s that's just a little tiny bullet so I can't even imagine the big the big stuff but um our thoughts are like that. As we become more spiritually advanced, our thoughts become more powerful. You know, we maybe have a BB gun, 
uh, and when we're at a low level of advancement. But as we get higher levels of advancement, you know, we need to treat our gun. We need to treat our thoughts like we would treat a loaded weapon. It's that powerful. They become they become very, very infused with the, the, the dynamism of nature, you know, the ability to create reality. This is what we're really being taught here. You know, uh, one of the huge lessons here is realizing our, our place, you know, what is our place? You know, it's, I believe one of our huge lessons here is to um, dive deep into this, into this godly energy and bring it up and learn how to bring this energy up into a creative, positive, creative way in a loving, um, kindness, sharing way. And, you know, the dark, the dark side, the cabal, the, the bad, the dark hearts, they, they use this energy in uh, esoteric, you know, secret. And they, um, it's all about domination and power and self-advancement. And we can see where that, we can see where that's gotten us. I mean, it's, it's really terrible. And they've all gotten us to go along for the ride with that. And what's happening now is people are realizing that that was a, that was a bogus, that was a bogus deal. And uh, people are going to be shifting to true spirituality, not, not a religious dogma, not a, an ideology that, um, that perpetuates the the same things they claim to, you know, be leading us away from. It's going to, it's going to be a, um, a, you know, a revolution. A, a real spirituality is a revolution. You know, it's a freeing, it's a, it's a, it's a setting the prisoners free from the prison. That's what real spirituality is. Um, that's figurative. I'm not talking about what the Democrats are doing. Don't get me wrong. Uh, turning convicted felons and rapists and, child molesters loose so they can create more havoc. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about on an esoteric level. Um, you know, your your just uh, all your traumas and all the things that um, are perpetuating the patterns in your life. Those are the things we're setting free. We're releasing from those things. We're releasing those patterns and letting them go. They serve their purpose. We learned our lessons and we just let them, letting them go. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a deep dive. And, it isn't for the faint of heart, you know, the, the spiritual, the spiritual, um, the true spiritual journey is just, it should be joy filled. Number one it should be joy filled, but it isn't for the faint of heart. You're going to, um, you're going to have to let go of some things and it's, it's going to be challenging. Let's just say challenging because it's, it's the, the positives outweigh the negatives as far as I can see, um, from what my limited experience is. You know, I want to tell you one more thing. It's just a thing of hope. Um, you know, we see all the stuff going on with the uh, Biden administration and all the really bad stuff they're doing. And, um, you know, first of all, number one, you know, I was talking to my wife yesterday and I said, you know, the way I deal with this is the way I deal dealt with stuff in tra when I worked in the trauma unit. Um, I just see it as a movie. You know, I didn't see it as real when I if, if you see it as real, it just becomes overwhelming. Right. Um, when I was in trauma, I saw terrible things and you had to just, I almost, I just pretended like it wasn't real. Like I was just watching a movie. Well, I'm doing the same thing with this situation too. You know, whatever it takes to protect yourself from it, protect yourself from that negative energy. Cause they want to, they want to use all this to create trauma. They're traumatizing, re-traumatizing over and over. It's trauma-based mind control. And, um, you know, if you don't know anything about that, research it, MK ultra trauma-based mind control. Uh, they use this um, trauma to create programs, and these programs keep us in a state of fear, a state of anxiety. Uh, they keep us, you know, uh, done to, well, they, they keep us uh, using the BB gun instead of using the high power rifle, right? They keep our thoughts weak. They, it weakens our thoughts. We cannot manifest reality. We cannot manifest a higher level if we're, you know, stuck in fear and anxiety. And they know that. They, they, powers that be know this to be true um so anyway i hope you guys are all doing good and i uh, love you guys hope uh everybody got warm after all this and um, i'll talk to you later